Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at the Friedman BEOD Deluxe pedal uh, next to the Helix model of the Friedman BEOD amp. Um, so we're going to start on the blue channel of the pedal, which is the lower gain uh, channel of this pedal. I think you'll see pretty quickly that I don't think that this lower gain channel is meant to replicate the clean channel on the BEOD because both on this Helix and on the clean channel of the uh, BEOD that I've played in person that not the BEOD, the BE, the amp, that cr the clean channel on it is crystal clean, but the uh, pedal is like more of a pushed clean type of deal. Wait, wait, here we go. So I'm only going to mess with the game controls, not the EQ. That's really what I think will let you get a good idea of the differences between these these sounds. So let's increase the drive on the, uh, the Helix model. It's at noon right now. Now it's three quarters of the way full. For sure, just a rocking crunch tone. Whereas the uh, clean channel on the uh, the Helix is it's a clean channel and it feels like kind of fuzzy when you turn the gain up. So instead, let's go in the other direction. Let's try and get this as clean as possible. I'm going to turn the gain to zero on this on the pedal. So yeah, very much it's a clean, a, a crystal clean sort of deal. zero I consider this like a pushed clean tone I I can't really think of anything that it wouldn't work for I suppose if you're trying to play like some jazz and you need like the cleanest clean tone possible maybe not But 
was also very uh, you can mold the tone further using your guitar. So I'm over to single coils on the neck pickup now. Back over to humbuckers and the bridge pickup. But yeah, so in summary, uh, the blue channel and the BELD Deluxe can certainly function as a passable clean channel even with humbuckers and everything in full volume, it does really react to what your guitar is doing and the dynamics of your playing. Um, whereas the clean channel on the BELD, on the, uh, the Freeman model in the Helix, it's a fully clean channel. And even if you're running humbuckers at full volume into it, it will generally remain clean. But all right, let's go over to the higher gain stuff. All right, so here's where I think that the really interesting uh, comparisons will lie. We're going to still start on the blue channel of the BELD Deluxe with everything at noon. to the Helix model, all of the extra controls, which are HBE, FAT, C45, and saturation are off. So the Helix amp is definitely a little bit tighter right off the bat. Let's turn on the fat control. fat on and turn on satur well let's try C45. Nope. Let's turn that well, let's leave that on, turn HPE on. Nope. <laughs> let's try saturation.
the saturation off, leaving fat and C45 on. <laughs> Probably the closest that these two pedals have sounded so far. Let's try turning some of the uh, drive down on the on the Helix model. Drive is now just under three. Safe to say that uh, the the, amp, the Helix amp is just a little bit tighter than the uh, pedal is. Well, one last thing to try. Let's turn the presence up on the BOD Deluxe. even further closer but still the uh, helix model has a bit more crispness that the pedal does not have let's jump over to the uh, green channel C45 controls. Put drive back up to noon, which is five. Once again, the uh, pedal is just a little darker than the uh, Helix model. Let's go ahead and turn the presence up the full from the beginning. I think to really get these on the same page, you turn on at least the HPE switch, so let's do that.
saturation control. Coming back to basically the same conclusion, which is that the, uh, the pedal is lacking a certain amount of uh, bite that the Helix model has. Let's go ahead and slightly increase the treble on the BELD Deluxe. Leave everything else the same. We're going to slightly cut out some bass, slightly increase the treble. Let's see what we get. I said just the HPE and the saturation controls are right now are on right now and the saturation control I find makes it more saturated. You lose just a little bit of clarity. Let me turn it off real quick so this is on. usable tones for sure but the uh the helix model just has more brightness to it all right finally i'll leave this where it is and i'm going to turn on the direwolf just use it as a clean boost Thank you. 
All right, so yeah, both super cool. But of course, in this case, I do have a preference for the Helix model over the uh, pedal. But um, I've gotten great, great sounds out of this pedal. I do enjoy it a lot. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please like, subscribe, share, do all that sort of stuff. But hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.